hello to another episode of Exploit Overwatch Law. In this series will be going through the Overwatch Law comp as Overwatch comics and trying to, you know, learn more about our characters and the world that they are in. Um, this is an anticipation of in part Overwatch 2, because Overwatch 2 will focus PvE, a lot of story, and I do love me a good story. Um, in part because I do I, I actually do find a lot of these characters interesting. I do play some over well and amount of Overwatch. But it's always a treat me like who who are these people? Who is Tracer? Who who are these guys? Why are we having this fight? Um, and the story behind it, so let's dive into it. This time we're gonna be reading a Better World issue four of this Overwatch uh, comic series. In fact you can see all the numbers down here, then you have a new series here. And it's gonna be about Symmetra. So, since we know it's about Symmetra, what do we know about um, the Indian lady, about Symmetra herself? So, let's start with what's in game. Alright, so Symmetra literally bends reality, manipulating heart like constructs. She crafts the world as she wishes it to be in hopes of engineering a perfect society. Okay, okay. Very uh, optimistic compared to some of our more cynical heroes. Yes, I have the Tyranny skin. Classic. Can't pronounce this. Technomancer. Love that name. Can't pronounce this. Oh! Uh, designed by its most talented architects. Utopia is the jewel of the Vishnas Corporation development around the world. Wait, what? What is the jewel specifically? What are we talking about? Is that supposed to be like a gem? Okay, but the Vishnu Corporation. Okay, that's something interesting. Again, I'm not a, not an expert in Overwatch law, but I'm reading. I'm getting better. Okay, vampire mistletoe. Okay, Christmas stuff. Uh, goddess. I believe this is Kali. Very cool. Oasis is actually interesting. This applies is from the map Oasis, but again, we're not here to do a skin bag. Ah, yes, I got this by the in-game goodies. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Where's the flavor text? Chinese New Year. Okay, interesting. So this is her at a much younger age. Noticed at a young age for her potential in areas of hard light engineering. Satya Vaswani, oh that was easier than I thought, was placed in the Vixenos Corporation Academy to become a future architect. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. So it seems that she's an architect as opposed to an engineer. Of course in the future these roles might have uh, merged. And we'll see what that that becomes. But it seems that she was um, she was given a scholarship. But the Vishnu Corporation is a pretty big part of her life. Oh, oh, there's more. As one of Vishnu's Corporation's most talented architects, Symmetra was to place displaced to Rio de Janeiro to oversee their new development efforts. Okay, that puts her in direct contact with uh, Lucio. Lucio's base of operations is Rio. What else we got? Uh, huh, mermaid, dragon. Okay, this is Halloween, Figure Skater, Hydra, and Magician. This one you see all the time. Okay, so that's what we know about Symmetra, is that she... I mean, there's probably a lot more in the, in the voice lines, we're not going to go into that. This is not a, a skin set breakdown. Uh, but basically, the crux is that she's... It sounds pretty optimistic, and it sounds like she is... Uh, generally wants a better world, and she thinks she can do it via engineering. Engineering helps, but that's not the solution. You can't engineer your way out of certain issues. The hell? Alright. Oh, okay, so back to the comic. A better world. Okay, full screen. Zoom in. Okay, so we have a different writer. This is one by Andrew Robinson. An artist, Jeffrey Chavez Cruz, these people, these people, these people. Okay, creative consultants, Chris Metzen, important. Again, he's one of the OG of Blizzard. I uh, don't know any of these people. Jeffrey Wong. James Roth, I... Oh, okay, that's actually, we'll have to keep an eye out for this one. Right, oh, okay, so we're starting right off at Rio. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Office of the Mayor. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Cooper Ball, but I'm afraid we're going to have to, we're going with the Casino proposal. Your Excellency, interesting. You must be joking. Our complex is superior by every conceivable metric. The Vishnu's Corporation's heart light technology is making the world a better place. Our architects are reshaping cities according to their needs at the blink of an eye. 
and Satya Vaswadi is our finest, most talented. Ahem. But your plans extend further to the favelas. We have enough problems with them as they are. And with all respect to Ms. Vaswadi, Mr. Kalando has a long history with the city. Better the devil you know as it were. I'm not doing any next. Absolutely not. The cost the Colado proposal is hideous, unwieldy. We could provide pr we could provide improved housing for your slums. Satya, let's not complicate things. She's making a miss. This picture is crooked, sloppy. How can she tolerate that? Interesting. A poor choice. Vishnu is making the world a better Satya. I suppose we're done here, Madam Mayor. I suppose you'll re I hope you'll reconsider. Okay, well, that's that certainly arrogance. Like, you don't just go to other people's house and correct their painting, even though it's like that. I mean, okay, so we see a very interesting situation where... Oh dear, my camera's uh, covering part of it. Where we see... Uh, where we see that... I'm just going to call it Symmetra. Wants to build into the favelas. Okay, so... For what I know, favelas are, are kind of a... It's a district shanty town. Again, I'm not an expert in uh, Brazilian affairs, from my understanding. This this is the favela. These are the buildings that are in certain areas, somewhat of a shanty town, but also the home of millions upon millions of people. Um, and a major contention issue. It's interesting that I don't know. They're, they're basically part of. Uh, okay, I'm not going to talk any further. That we're going to go into very complicated cultural areas. Okay, I should walk back to the hotel, clear my head. This place reminds me of my childhood in, Hy in Hyperbad home. It could be beautiful, clean, filled with order and light. Why don't they see that? Why are they protesting? Why would it, Why would they want to live in those disgusting slums? Oh boy. Please, no I. Uh, too much like home, too much. All colors, all chaos and stench. Okay, so that's interesting. So she's very, very optimistic. And, uh, well, to answer the short story is that... I mean, you can see it outside. The favela belongs to the people. They don't want this redevelopment through their home. Um, I mean, development of these areas have always been complicated because it's the, up to the mercy of those with power to make sure that those without are taken care of. And it's easier for them to... Again, like, what... Like, you could destroy all the slums, kick the people literally out of the street, and build a hotel and make more money. That's just the truth of it. And these people not wanting change makes sense in that context. Of course, she doesn't see it. It's also very interesting because it implies that in, in wherever she's from, like her hometown, I don't know if she's from Delhi or Hyperbar or Chennai or um, Mumbai, what the situation is there and how it's changed. It looks like, you know, the favelas are pretty much as they are as of time of recording. Okay, let's see what the little girl wants. I look at this angelic face. An island of perfection is sea of misery. Are you lost? I'm fine, but yes, I'm out of my element. I can help. Okay. Come with me. Are you, are, are you gonna get robbed? Thank you, goodbye. So much like me at that age. We're gonna get that contact. Make her life all of those lives better. Okay. Um, not much happened on this page. A lot of... Uh, I'll complain about that later. No matter what it takes. Carlos got a lot of security. You'll need to break out the tools. We want this contract, Satya. We deserve it. Find something on him. Okay. Sanjay has always said I was different. Everyone has. Asking where I fit on the spectrum. Okay, what if the spectrum is of importance? Is it like a personality test? It used to bother me because I knew it was true. It doesn't bother me anymore. Because I could do things nobody else could do. Oh boy, when somebody says like this, it's a very fine line between proficiency and, and utter arrogance. Well, Cal Caldeo is a slumlord, but that's not illegal. He owns some standard building citywide, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. Hey! Okay, so so in this scene, so Symmetra, our golden girl, our optimist, has literally resorted to breaking and entering, which is prob which is illegal just about everywhere on Earth. 
in the name of a contract. Ooh, gunfire. Careless. That's not like me. Arrogance, right? Puts up a shield. Energy drain. Why not terminate them? You know I don't kill if I don't have to. I'll be gone before they wake up. So she knocks them out and takes the teleporter out. Okay? Okay. That's interesting because this is kind of turning it on its head. Like the last few pages that she's the golden girl. And now it's like... Um, yeah, like like she's so merciful. She's just not like you know wasting all these security guards, even though she could. Her handle is wondering why she doesn't. That's the problem sometimes with angels. A good angel is one that follows orders from on high, no matter what those orders are. If you know Warcraft, the light can be used to burn as easily as it can to heal. I I made that up, but not the light. Okay, Sajay, have a fit. It's not enough on Cal though. Perhaps we get to the bay instead find something on her. That is disappointing, so be it. And... Okay, there was a large explosion. What? There were men inside? Whatever do you mean? My gods, Calder won't stand up. The good will do this. Not Calder, the favela! Oh dear, the fire is spreading. Okay, my baby. Okay, she comes in there. I have you now, you're safe. I won't let anything happen to you. Oh no, her face is ruined. Maybe, maybe we can fix this, all of it. So at long last, months later, so at long last, despite occasional we are part open our new city center. Shame about Cardano's holdings, but this is the most satisfactory outcome, no? The mayor had no choice but to have us step in. We're going to give them housing, we will. And their lives will be better for it. What fits their station? And now serves the greater order, that's how Vishka works. The fire in the favela, was it part of the plan? How could you think such a thing? And yet, this is the price of rebirth and growth, isn't it Satya? Yes, of course. He's right, we're making the world a better place. We're making the world a better place. Okay, okay, actually, this comic, Okay, I've got a lot of issues with it. I don't particularly like the art style. I don't like um, this page especially. There's a lot of wasted space compared to the one here. Um, I don't like the way the characters are drawn. I don't, let me, again, let me just start with the complaints first. I don't like the way these guns are drawn. There's just nothing to them. They're holding freaking, like, red flashlight boxes. Um, yeah, that's what I don't like. The way the shield tech is, okay, that's because of the art style. Um, I don't like this fire, you, you can't see too much. Again, criticisms. What I do like, however, is the story, because in the skins we just saw, in this section here, we see basically Symmetra to a point of absolute arrogance. Um, Arrogance to the point that it actually cost her in her mission, like careless even, following orders and then causing collateral damage. And because of this one page, which I, we needed more on this girl again, page count and everything. Like there could have been, you know, her offering her tea or something, but we do see a casualty. Like she had a perfect face and thanks to, um, Thanks to actions that she's directly complicit in. N I mean, has a bird face and that that, and probably PTSD for the rest of her life. It's really, really telling that you're you're being set up for a situation that Symmetra is coming in and becoming a hero for a problem that she is part of. She is literally part of this problem. She caused this fire, and. Um, as a result, they got what they wanted. You, you, you can see like in her eyes, it's like, are we the baddies here moment? So that's really interesting. A uh, bit disappointed we did see Lucio, although given that this is a Symmetra focused story, uh, and we're entirely following her POV, that it... that we, we don't run into Lucio. Okay, I mean, that's honestly kind of it. It's a short story, like the rest, self-contained. It does give a 
greater glimpse into the world. Um, the Vishnar Corporation is something we're almost certainly going to see again. I don't know if that's going to factor into um, Overwatch 2 and how they, you know, connect with the Omnic Crisis. It's going to be really interesting to see uh, more Rio because we're almost certainly going to see that uh, in Overwatch 2 in the story mode. I played on Rio de Janeiro. There's almost certainly going to be a map of it once Overwatch 2 drops good and proper. And yeah, I do like this. This is actually been, you know, one of the better stories per se because it it subverts your expectation on what is the good girl. And uh, it's def in this story, it's definitely not her. Every villain was the the hero of their own story. Okay, if not, that's all for me. Um, hope you like this content. Do subscribe, but not for me, but the Zergling. Nam 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 n